there could be plenty of reasons behind this problem, such as virus, or malware don't let Windows format the pen drive or memory card, and many other reasons. You may get infected your computer, if you plug in an infected memory card, external hard disk, or USB flash drive. This is why, it is recommended not to plug in a USB drive or memory card, if you have no antivirus installed and carefully open files and folders. I hope, you will manage to fix this error. But before you get started, I would like to inform you that, this video might not work in all such as situations, and the most important thing is that, it will not help, if there is a hardware problem. I was facing this error, because my USB flash drive was not created. You may face this error, even though, your USB, or memory card is already created. Though I'm doing it on Windows 7, but all the procedure is pretty same for Windows 8 and Windows 10 users. Go to Start menu, and type Manage in the search bar. The search will bring back with search results. Click on first one. Named Computer Management. You will find storage on the left side. Click to expand it. Click on Disk Management. As you can see, Disk Management is displaying all connected storage devices. Here you need to pay full attention. You may delete or format main hard disks by mistake, and lose important data. This is my USB pen drive. As you can see, its type is removable. Removable type means, this is an external storage device. It could be USB pen drive, memory card, external hard disk etc. This USB flash is not created. This black line indicates that, it is not created. Right click on it. Click on new simple volume. Click next. Click next. You may assign your favorite letter, if you like. I'm going to keep it default. And click next. If you want, you can give it a name. Leave other things default and click next. Click finish to create, and format. Windows has successfully created, and formatted it. Here you can also format USB, or memory card, if your storage device is already created. Please do let me know using the comment section. If you run into any problem, I will try to help you fix the issue. Please visit softsuggester.com for more info. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Software Geek and help us make more helpful and informative videos.